What's up, what's up, what's up? It's the Kill Cope. I hope y'all, yeah, I hope y'all ready. Hope y'all ready. I'm back with finally on YouTube with a YouTube video. So right now, we're going to be talking a little bit about financial stuff. We're going to be talking about the little financial aspect. So stay tuned, stay tuned. First of all, before we get into this video, make sure to smash that like button, comment, leave a comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, show some love, and make sure to tune in on Instagram, on TikTok. That's where I'll be going for the most of my content. But we're here on YouTube now. So stay tuned. All right, we're going to talk about, firstly, how to move out your, your mama's crib or your dad's crib and at least make 10 to ten to probably $20,000 a month. Might sound crazy, but let me explain to you why this is so possible. 10 to $20,000 a month is so possible. Now, let me give you guys a little backstory about myself and where I'm from and what I've been doing for this whole period of time. First off, I'm originally from South America in this country that's called Guyana. Only English-speaking country in Guyana. But anyways, I moved and I migrated to the U.S. when I was probably like... 14, 15, what's not, and you know, high school and all that good stuff. But I probably only had what, like two or three, probably two real jobs, nine to five. And I can't remember the last time I did a nine to five, to be honest. I can't remember the last time I actually did a nine to five. Since I leave high school, I never been, I never been back to working for anybody else but myself. Let me explain to y'all. A lot of people be like, yo, how is it possible to move out doing all this good stuff? It's about mindset. It's really generally about mindset. It's really generally about mindset. When I tell y'all it's really about mindset, it's all about the way you think and the way you view things and the way you approach and the way you live with your habits and, and the people you have around you. But we're going to get into depth and I'm going to give you some tips on what I did and how I came about to live by myself and do all this good stuff. Stay now, tuned. you're going to have to quit whatever you're doing. Let me don't, let me just put a little teaser right Don't Don't just go quit your job right now. But what I'm saying is, you are in your comfort zone. You hold on to a nine to five, it's gonna keep you in a nine to five. If you keep staying, if you stay in there, it's gonna keep you in a system of just working every single day, working every single day, working every single day. And you're gonna stay there for the rest of your life. You're gonna be so comfortable with that little job that you have that you're never gonna move and actually find other ways to make money that you could actually work less and gain more. That's really the goal of it. To work less and gain more. That's the whole goal. But you're gonna have to quit. It might sound crazy, but you're going to have to quit. You're going to have to quit what you're doing. Because why work and do something that you do not want to do? Why be it somewhere for so long every single day and you don't even want to be there in the first place? And the next thing too, you could be in college. You know, a lot of us in college and we be in college paying to be somewhere we do not want to be. Like, why does it make sense to pay to be somewhere you want to be? Or does it make sense to do something you don't want to do? I know it might sound crazy. But until you make that leap of faith and you just jump out and go straight out to what you want to do, you're going to be stuck in the system and working all your life. And you do not want to be in that position. So the first thing I want you all to understand, the first thing that I have to do is I have to quit or I have to leave that system of being comfortable. I had to leave that system and I had to give it up. You know, you know, you get comfortable getting that check every week or getting that check every two weeks, but you're going to have to. Get out of that comfort zone. We're going to have to get out of the comfort zone. If you want to be able to move out and live by yourself and to accomplish, like, you know, to make it $20,000 a month to $30,000 a month, to do that, you're going to have to you're gonna have to quit that little job because there's no way you're going to be able to get that type of money working for a 9-5. Now, let's go. What's the second thing you're going to need? The second thing is you're going to need is, this is the second thing you're going to need to get making at least five to ten to $20,000 a month. Mindset, 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 mindset. You're going to have to start building your mindset. You might ask me, how can I build my mindset? I don't even know how to build my mindset. But listen up. Mindset comes over with gaining knowledge and putting yourself in different positions and just seeing what happens. For example, I love to listen to podcasts. I love I love to listen um, to read books. And I love to go to seminars and go around people who are already doing the stuff that I want to do. For example, great books that you can read is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You know, that's a common one. But that's one he really teaches you how to leave that, that, that cycle of being comfortable and just working for money and just chasing this, you know, exchanging your time for money. He teaches you all of that. And then now it's Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. He really builds your mindset. He tells you how to literally manifest anything you want. And like he teaches you the laws, law of attraction and all of these different stuff. So Think and Grow Rich, um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, those are two books that's going to build your mindset from different aspects. And as well, listen to podcasts. One of my favorite podcasts is Social Proof. Really why I like Social Proof is because there's a lot of entrepreneurs on there and you can find a niche on Social Proof. Like there's so much people that do so much stuff on Social Proof. There must be something in that beating in this podcast that you could probably adapt, you know, take on to yourself and try. 
That's what I love social proof is for. So you got to build your mindset. The first thing is you got to quit what you're doing. Stop accepting less and stop being in a comfort zone. Quit what you're doing. And then secondly, you got to build your mindset. Build your mindset. Now that you quit what you're doing and that you build your mindset, now you're ready to move on to making money. Let me tell you three things that you could possibly move on today that could get you some money. One of the favorite things that I have and I started doing is selling on Amazon. For example, this brush right here, this brush, this brush. This brush is probably like, I don't know, let's say $5 or something. You could get this for probably like, Two dollars or a dollar or something, you could sell it on Amazon and people like essentials like this. You could get people people buying Amazon every day. And the benefits of Amazon is that majority of people trust Amazon. It's not like they have to go to your personal website. They're going to a website that they trust. They know Amazon is reliable. So selling on Amazon, they have a lot of props. So you could sell like products like this, hand sanitizer, mask, you could sell hats, a lot of things you could sell on Amazon, like essentials that people need. Secondly, um, trendy shirts. Like I used to do like trendy shirts. Like for example, you could create a website and put trendy shirts. For example, trendy shirts is like free Kodak, free young boy, um, free NBA young boy, stuff like that. And you could come up on a bag with trendy shirts. People don't even got to know you're doing these stuff. You could literally have people, you know, you don't, you just got to do this stuff on the low. Secondly, um, the last but not least drop shipping, drop shipping. Majority of you guys know about drop shipping. But a lot of you guys are scared to get into it. It works. It's possible. You just got to put in that time, gain that knowledge, and I guarantee you, you will not regret jumping into this world of being an entrepreneur. But I must say, not everyone has that skill to be an entrepreneur. Not everyone is good at, you know, getting their own money by themselves. So what you got to do is figure out if it's for you. And if it's not for you, it's cool. You know, there's other ways to make money by being an employee. But if you really want to make your own money, here is the place to be. So after you do the so um after you get all that, you know, you build your mindset, you quit what you're doing. Now you gotta when you make your money now, so I three ways I show you. You could do Amazon, you could do drop shipping, you could do training shirts, you could do you could even work a little bit, like do some side hustles. What's not? I don't know exactly what your field is, but you could do anything. You could even start investing in like vending machines. Those are so easy to get into. Go on Craigslist, buy a vending machine for eight hundred dollars, go put it in a school, put it in a hospital somewhere, make your money. In and out. How are you gonna get to like ten thousand dollars to twenty to five thousand dollars a month or something like that? Is by creating multiple streams of income. You know, making thousand dollars a week. If you have five, let's say, if you have five different things that's bringing in probably like two hundred dollars a day, that's easy to make th um a thousand dollars a week. So you cannot get rich by just doing one thing. And I feel like some people do, but not everyone do. The best way is to have multiple streams of income. So you have to find like four, three, four, four, probably three different ways that you're getting money. That's what I would say. And um, what I would say is, is that, you know, when you get your money, when you actually make this money, after you do Amazon, say you do drop shipping, you make this money, what you want to do is make this money work for you. So you get this money and then you put that money out back to work. Like you go, go to work and bring some more of you. Go and get some more of you. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to get that money. One of the amazing things to invest in is probably stocks cryptocurrency sports you could do sports betting that's the next way to flip some money sports betting is crazy um stocks is amazing cryptocurrency you could option trading those stuff really make money so when you get your money you want to invest it you really want to invest it you really want to invest it so you get your money and then you make your money work for you some great investments that i took up on myself is airbnb airbnb it's one of the most favorite investments because you don't have to own the property. You don't have to get so much things that, you know, you don't have to have a crazy amount of money to start it. It's so easy. And you don't even have to, sometimes you don't even have to have any money. You could be a co-host and you could be gaining $3,000 a month off of just being co-host. And you could probably co-host with multiple people and you're gaining probably $10,000 a month off Airbnb. And then if you got your own spot, you could gain as much as $10,000 off of one Airbnb spot. So... Airbnb is what I invested in as well. That's one of my favorite things. That's what I'm actually sitting in one of my Airbnbs as we speak. So that's what I'm talking about. So you can literally take yourself out of your family's house and make in $10,000 to probably $20,000 a month. If you just quit what you're doing and stop being scared and take that leap of faith, build your mindset by putting yourself around the right people, going to seminars, listen to podcasts, reading the right books, and then go and find ways to make money. Amazon, drop shipping, even work Uber for a little bit, stack your money, get a vending machine, do a lot, go ATM, buy NFTs, 
do stocks, do um, Forex. There's so much stuff you can do. Then when you get those money, you invest it in real, real investments like real estate. You know, you go put it back into crypto or something like that. You know, open a business or probably, you know, follow up your dreams. Those are those are the ways you can make money. And 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 is I'm gonna bring more videos on this, but I don't, I don't want to go too crazy in depth for this first video because this is my first video back on YouTube. But if y'all like this video, y'all really mess with it. Y'all really want me to get in depth with more financial advice, self development, and just self growth in the whole general. Let me know. Make sure y'all leave a comment or something. Like, share, send it with your friend. Subscribe. Let us get me to 1K because I'm back on YouTube. We're going to go crazy. Make sure y'all tune on Instagram and TikTok. It's a cute Copeland every single way. Make sure y'all show some love. And yeah, I'm bringing more videos tomorrow. Probably the day after that. Day that. Consistency King is going to be here. We here. Tune in. Yo. Yo.